Welcome back to Elizabeth Plants. I'm Elizabeth and today I thought I would show you how I clean my humidifier. So today specifically I'm going to be cleaning my um, first Elect Homes. I've cleaned it once or twice since I got it. I'm really bad about cleaning my humidifiers, but I specifically let this one get really bad so that I could show you how to clean it when it is really bad. I know a couple of you have asked how to do that and so I'm going to do that. So we're going to be cleaning the one that's in my living room and we're going to be doing it in the bathroom because I don't feel like doing the dishes. Um, so let's just jump into it. This is editing Elizabeth from the future. I was uh, editing this video and realized that I didn't give you any specific guides on when to clean. So ideally, if you are running your humidifier almost 24 seven, you would wanna clean it weekly. Um, now this, it can be adjusted, like if I let mine run empty and stay empty for a couple of days, maybe every two weeks. Um, or for example, if you have really um, mineral filled water, you may need to clean them more often because it can build up in the systems a lot quicker if you have more in your water. So do some research on what type of water your area has and what that means for your humidifier, because um, I can't give you more specific guides than that. Um, but if we're being very realistic and not idealistic, I clean mine every two to four weeks. Uh, I do let mine run dry a lot. Um, it's I'd be filling them daily otherwise, so it's not realistic for me to not let them run dry for a while. Um, let's say you're keeping your humidity a lot lower than mine, you may not even need to clean it um, as often. My kind of personal guide is that I clean it after I've refilled it like five times. All right, you'll have to forgive my bathroom lighting because it's kind of yellow. But right here is the humidifier we're going to be cleaning. The first thing obviously is to unplug it. Um, mine is unplugged. Obviously it doesn't sit here in the tub naturally. Um, you'll also have to forgive the little bit of dirt residue. I watered a plant earlier. But the next step is to take it apart. So this comes off, but I don't believe this does. However, I will be cleaning this part Simba, is that you? Hi, Simba. So you take this part off, it just lifts off. I have one of these. If you don't have one of these, then don't worry about it. I'm just going to set that aside. I don't know what it's called, but it helps with that like white residue that uh, sometimes happens if you have minerally water. Next, I'm going to take this tub off. I, essentially what I'm doing right now is I'm just taking it apart. Then I'm going to take this off out. Yeah, that's really gross. You can see that. So you can kind of see what's left in here. Yeah, I don't think anything else comes out, but I will be cleaning in there last. Next, this is going to be hard with only one hand. You guys get to see my legs for a sec. So this piece actually well, there we go. Twists off so you can get in there a bit better. See, it's just this tube. Yeah, that's really disgusting. I don't usually let it get this bad, but I thought it would be more useful if I showed you guys what it looked like and how to take care of it if you did let it get really bad. But essentially, what I'm going to do with all of these pieces is I'm going to be cleaning them with vinegar and water. So one thing to note about my situation is I don't have the ability to open windows, I don't have a patio, I cannot run this outside. So a lot of humidifiers call when you clean them, they want you to clean the individual pieces a little bit and then put it all back together and run it with a white vinegar and water mixture. Uh, but they don't recommend you do that inside and so my only option is to do it inside so I don't do that part. Um, it probably could get cleaner if I did that, but I'm on, I don't want to live in a house that smells like vinegar, so I'm not going to be doing that, and I never do. You can do that. Um, I would recommend no more than 50%, thank you, Simba, 50% of both the water and the vinegar. All right, so I set up something to hold my camera, and we're just going to do this one piece at a time. So... What I've got right here, I'm hoping you can see this, yeah. This is the just the little cleaner brush that the 
um, humidifier came with and I've got a new little filter thingy that I will be replacing the old one with most likely. I don't always replace them if they're really dirty. Sometimes you can just scrub them with your hands under some running water and they get clean again. Um, but just in case, I brought one and then I've got my vinegar. I actually didn't realize I was this low on vinegar, so we're going to have to use it sparingly. All right, so the easiest part to clean is this part because honestly, it doesn't look too bad. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run some water in there and then mix it with a little bit of vinegar, just kind of sloosh it around and let it sit. So I'm essentially just gonna put a little bit of water in there because I only have a little bit of vinegar. So I've mixed the water and vinegar. Now I'm just going to kind of slop it around. I can see some places up here that are a little bit dirty, so I'm going to scrub those with a little brush. And essentially every part of this portion of the humidifier, so this whole bucket can get wet. So what I will likely do is um, not spend a ton of time on it because I can literally just douse it in water under the shower head. However, to make my life a little bit easier, I um, will be letting everything soak in vinegar water. So I'm just going to set that aside for later. And next, let's do this piece. So essentially, this is going to be my vinegar water bucket, I think. Um, I usually do this in the sink with like a bowl, um, but I think I'll just use this instead for the vinegar water bucket can always add more to the bucket. But I want to get everything just a little bit wet. I'm going to scrub some things just a little bit um, in the places that look really bad, but I'm not going to make it clean yet with the brush. Um, you can skip this step if you want to, um, but I just like to get what I can off first. Not everything will come off and I'm not going to force anything off right now because I will be soaking it. I'm going to take this little bit off for now because I don't want that soaking. So now I'm going to kind of set that in my bucket to soak. I'm going to add more water. So I just added more water and vinegar because I wanted to make sure that um, all of the parts were covered because that's going to soak there for now. Okay, so next is this piece. This is one of the easier pieces to clean. I'm again, same thing, just going to kind of go at it a little bit gently um, before I soak it. And I'm going to repeat that process for everything. While I'm kind of doing this, I do want to say that I am by no means an expert um, humidifier cleaner. I just, this is how I do it. I actually really struggled, like a lot of you who messaged me this question, finding kind of some sources on the best ways to clean these. And Kat's using the litter, give them a sec. So the final bit is the actual humidifier. So something worth noting is you do not want to get water in there. So you cannot just rinse this part. That's where the electronics are, which is my assumption. I don't actually know that. Um, so I'm really only going to clean kind of what's in here. And then if I dump it out, which I mean, I will, I'm going to dump out the liquid that's in there. I'm going to dump it out like this, like off the, like off kind of right here because the cord, the cord is right here and the electronics are right here, so I'm going to dump it off one of the side corners. But again, same thing, I'm just going to kind of swirl my brush in there, lift things up. And what I was saying when my cat's litter excursion interrupted me was just that I'm not an expert. This is just what I do based on um, some things that I found um, a while ago when I was trying to figure out how to clean my Lavoie humidifier. Um, this is by no means the perfect way, the only way, or the best way. So I'm going to put some water and vinegar down at the bottom for soaking just like I did the other parts. Now 
Now what I'm going to do is I am going to cover this with a towel so my cats don't think to drink it and let this sit for at least 20 minutes. I'm probably going to let it sit like an hour just because I've got some other stuff I'm going to do in the meantime and I'm just going to really, really let it soak and get in there. All right. So it has soaked for approximately an hour. I'm going to do a set. This one aside, we'll deal with it last. And we'll tackle everything that is in here. But I want to leave the water and vinegar mix in there. I'm going to be using that as I scrub. So everything is soaked. So now I'm going to do uh, whatever I can to get all of the grime out of all the places, which essentially just means going to town with this little brush everywhere I can see it. It should come up pretty easy now that it is soaked. The hardest part really is, let's see if I can show you, getting like in there and similar places. That's going to be the most difficult part of this. Then once everything I've got, I'm able to get to is scraped clean, I'm just going to rinse it off and revisit it to see if anything else needs to be scraped off. And I'll see if I can show you a close up. It looks pretty good in there. And then this is also pretty good now. I'm going to replace this. I don't actually really use it. It's for like essential oils, but I do keep it in there in case one day I decide to use it. So this piece is done. I'm going to set it somewhere to dry now. Next, I'm going to do this piece. This piece was pretty easy to do. So it looks, I mean, I know that's not focusing, but it looks pretty good. Next, we are going to do the most difficult piece. A lot of the grime is still visibly in there. I'm going to spend as much time as necessary really getting to the bottom of this piece. I have pretty long fingers, so I can really get in here. Um, however, if this is just simply not long enough for you, you can really use something else if you want. This is just what comes with the humidifier, and I like to use it because I don't really have anything else that I would like to, that I would clean this with, but you can use like a sponge or, a different cleaner brush if you prefer. It really doesn't matter so long as it scrapes at the, the crud. All right, this piece is nice and clean now. It seems that it's a little stained right here. I don't know if my camera is really gonna pick that up in this lighting, um, but it's looking much, much, much better. I got pretty much everything I possibly could and blasted the rest out of there with the faucet. Next, we are going to do the bucket. However, there is, I don't know if you can see, a ton of crud that just kind of fell off the other pieces in here. And my bucket really wasn't too bad to begin with. So I'm just going to um, kind of run my hands around the edges and then take the brush to the little bits at the bottom that are just kind of maybe collecting some crud. If you can see it in there, that piece and that piece. The rest I'm just going to do with my hands. All right, it looks pretty good actually. I don't even think I need to really use the brush. I'm going to set that aside because I may need the vinegar water. So first, taking this out. Actually, this one really isn't that bad. I'll run it under water in a sec and it'll probably be pretty clean. Um, it feels a little gross, but it's really not that bad. So I'm just gonna reuse it. You don't have to, you can use new ones every time if you prefer. And then I'm essentially just going to take this to all the bits and pieces, dump it out like I did before, and voila! Honestly, it really looks like everything already kind of came up. It wasn't too bad, so I think it really doesn't require much for me. You may require some more scrubbing, um, but mine wasn't too bad, so I'm going to dump her out. Now that there's no water, I can see a little bit more crud right in here, so I'm going to go for it. Awesome, I think I got it all. I'm going to just uh, dump a little bit of water in here to kind of rinse that around, dump it out. Awesome, all clean. So, I mean, it's a humidifier. It is essentially always filled with water, so I'm not going to wait for everything to dry before I put it back together. I am, however, going to rinse this off, and then we can put it back together. 
All right, pretty much brand new. So you can see, I mean, it's wet, so it's a different color, but this is the old, old one that um, I just cleaned off a little bit. And this is the new one. There's really no difference other than this is wet and this is dry. Put that back in where it belongs. And something that's very interesting to note is I actually don't know if this is an Alec Holmes pad or a Lavoie pad. They're identical. Um, so that's really nice if you're switching from a Lavoie to a Alec Holmes. You don't have to get new ones of these. You can use your old ones. So first part we want is we want to put these pieces back together. Um, you just kind of twist them back in. Ta-da! Super, super simple. The hard part is remembering what goes where. So that goes like that. As you can see right there. Perfect. Now, dump my bucket out and we are going to place that right like that. And then the lid goes on top and she's clean. All right, so my humidifier is all clean. It is filled and it is back on and running. Let me know if you wanna see me clean the newer version of the Alec Homes, um, which you saw in my office tour. Um, and if you want to see me clean a Livois, I've got two of them and they both need to be cleaned. So as soon as I get more vinegar, I can do that. Um, just let me know in the comments down below what you want to see. If you even want to see it, um, let me know what humidifiers you use, if you use these humidifiers, different humidifiers, what you think of them. Subscribe if you want to see more planty content, and I will see you next time.